right? The establishment politics isn't working. You should be able to raise a family on one single income. We need to seal the border. We need to stop election fraud. We need to stop this crazy inflation. Lake brings exactly the kind of toughness, courage, and intellectual firepower we need in the Senate. Blake Masters won the election and will now face off. America first. It's here to stay. We're mad as hell. And we're going to take this country back. being here for coming here to welcome to Arizona the governor of the great state of Florida give it up for America's governor governor Ron DeSantis do we love this guy or what you know Florida and Arizona have something in common everybody wants to move here just in the last two years Literally hundreds of thousands of Americans have moved to Arizona and Florida. Specifically, over 100,000 Americans have moved to Arizona recently, which is great. And over 300,000 of our fellow citizens have moved to the free state of Florida. And let me ask you this, where do you think they're coming from? Overwhelmingly, right? They're coming from California, they're coming from New York. And why do you think they're coming? You think it's the weather? It's true that in Arizona, we have better weather than in New York, and so does Florida. But that doesn't really explain California, does it? I mean, California is so crazy, but their outdoors are pretty nice. No, it's obviously something else, and it's not too hard to figure out what's going on. What's going on is that Americans are fleeing these failed states. They're fleeing these failed states because these states don't work for their citizens. And the reason, the reason they don't work is because they are one-party states, right? California, New York, Illinois, they're all governed entirely by Democrats. You've got Democrat mayors, you've got Democrat governors, you've got Democrat senators. And I'll tell you what, these partisan Democrats, they're like pack animals. Okay, they're tribal. They stick together. Whatever they're saying or doing today, it might be completely different from what they say or do tomorrow. But I promise you, if there's a change, they'll make that change together in lockstep. Right? They conform. And they will try to silence and harass and intimidate anyone who dares to speak out or ask questions. And so, when a virus came from China to America, Right? Initially, initially, remember, the Democrat line was, oh, no, no, it's okay. Like, who are you to worry about it? Go to Chinatown. Party in the street. Hug a panda. Or whatever Nancy Pelosi said. Do you remember that? And then it was, no, don't worry about it. Go out to restaurants and, and be merry and get wontons. That's what the uh, mayor of New York said. Right before, of course, the Democrats had an abrupt about face, and they panicked, and they locked down. And we can never forget this. These Democrats, they shut down their states. They shut down businesses. They shut down schools. They just, they gave up on our children, of course, and they locked people inside for no good reason. And so you probably saw this just this week, right? The CDC came out with a statement. Did you see this? Well, now, now, two years later, the CDC admits that COVID is here to stay. Can you believe these people? That, that's their words. It's here to stay. You no longer have to quarantine, right? The, the mandatory testing, the routine testing, no, you don't have to do that anymore. Of course, they still recommend that you get vaccinated, but they even admit now their guidance, their advice doesn't change whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. And they'll change it after November, right? In other words, two years of persecution, two years of incompetence, Two 
years of economic destruction can be summed up in two words. Just kidding. <laughs> That's what they're saying. And to these people, it's a joke, but I think that the failure of the public health bureaucracy, right, the so-called public health system, it's an embarrassment, if not a crime. And what a sign of the utter ridiculousness, right? The childishness of the Biden administration that they're not even asking any questions, let alone trying to reform this obviously corrupt and broken public health system. But actually, that's not a surprise because that's just the Democrat way of operating, right? When, you, when something is broken, the Democrats just, they don't want to do anything about it. They just leave it alone and let it get worse, right? Because what are you going to do about it? You're going to vote for somebody else? Nope, can't do that in a one-party state. Good luck doing that in California or New York, right? And so you see the problem. The problem is when the Democrats have power and there's no one there to provide any sort of check or balance, things just get worse and worse. It's why in the giant cities, the Democrat-run cities, there's a ton of crime. So what do the Democrats do about it? Absolutely nothing. They just let it happen. And it gets worse and worse. And then the Democrats, they see hundreds of thousands, literally actually millions, right, of illegal aliens streaming across our southern border. What do they do about it? Nothing. They just let it happen. And it gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse and worse. Sorry, to, I had a tire blowout on the way up here, and so I'm a little, uh, I got some notes here. Um, <clears throat> Look, it's a good thing that the rest of the country isn't as messed up as New York and California, because at least those people have some place to flee to, right? <laughs> but we don't. And that's why Senator Mark Kelly's got to go, okay? <laughs> because we live here in Arizona. We're staying put. Okay, this is our state. We're not leaving. We need to make this state work. And that's what we're going to do. We need to make this country work. Because guess what? We don't have another one. And this country is in danger. Under Joe Biden and Mark Kelly's failed leadership, everything that should be going down is going up. Your rent is going up. Inflation up. Gas costs more and more. Groceries cost more and more. Crime is skyrocketing. Actually, if you want to see something that's falling, you have to look to our children's test scores. This is what it looks like to be ruled by California and by New York. And this is why we cannot tolerate a senator who just votes every single time as a rubber stamp on the failed Joe Biden agenda. A senator who literally just does whatever Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi tell him to do. Who literally takes orders from these failed leaders from failed states. He's a puppet. You know what else he is? He's an astronaut. Have you heard about this? He'll tell you all about it. He loves talking about it. And you know what? Hey, we can respect that he used to be an astronaut. That's kind of cool. That's fine. I'm sure he was really great at it, doing all the experiments in space or whatever it is that astronauts do nowadays. Let him do that. Because here on Earth, he's failing. Here on Earth, we have some big problems. Here on Earth, we have massive inflation. Here on Earth, in Arizona, there's an invasion at our southern border. An invasion that all of a sudden Mark Kelly is pretending to be really concerned about. Have you noticed this? Never mind that he literally blocked hiring 20,000 new Border Patrol agents. Because instead he wanted to hire and voted to hire 87,000 new IRS agents. How do you feel about that? And you're paying for it. I know I'm biased because I'm running against the guy, but tell me, is Mark Kelly doing a good job? You know, I think he's doing a hell of a job as California's third senator. 
But as an independent senator from Arizona, nope, sorry, he's a miserable failure. And so are the rest of the Democrats. And you know, everybody knows this. Everybody knows the Democrats in charge have failed. If you just ask people a very simple question, hey, how are we doing? Are we on the right track? The vast majority of people will say no. And the vast majority is right. And what do you do? What's the first thing you do when you realize you're going the wrong way? You turn around. And that's what we're going to do in November. We're going to throw these bums out. We're going to turn this thing around. Thank you. Appreciate that. And it starts with throwing them out, but that's just the half of it. Then the real work begins, right? And we know what to do. You know why? Because Governor DeSantis is giving us the playbook. He's showing how it's done. Florida is literally safer and richer and freer because that guy wakes up every day and he puts the pedal to the metal on his bold common sense agenda. <laughs> Governor DeSantis protected people's medical freedom when the COVID tyrants were trying to steal it away. <laughs> Governor DeSantis stood up to woke corporations who expected special treatment, special privileges. He said, hell no, not happening in Florida. And of course, Governor DeSantis also stood up to the corrupt teachers unions and protected children. Now, of course, as great as he is, he can't do it alone. We can't let Florida be the only state that works, right? We need to keep Arizona working we need to make sure Arizona is better than ever before, and that's why, tell me if you disagree, I think we need Carrie Lake as governor. How about that? Get her in the governor's office, get me in the U.S. Senate. I promise you, when I get to the U.S. Senate, I will do the job that Mark Kelly has refused to do. I will stand up to the Biden administration. And with me, with no apologies, it will be Arizona first and America first all the way. So my question for you is, are you ready? Are you ready to take back this country? Are you ready come November to send Mark Kelly back to space? Because that is what we are going to do. Thank you and God bless you.